so you can see here 3d printer is ready so uh, you can see some new changes in this like so i added a spool holder here okay so this i created by adding another uh, 3030 extrusion here so with the help of this bracket i attached with the frame then with the help of this 3d printed part and this rod so i already have this 3d printed one for the spool so that this will move freely okay so yeah this one then these uh, displays are connected here so two displays and for the bed you can see you can see kind of like three layers let me show you from here so this is the one base on top i have placed the black color one which i showed you last video and uh, on top I place the glass bed these are three parts you know with the help of these clips it will stay together okay with the help of these clips it won't you know move. so it will be together so then let me is a huge machine so you can see here this is a power supply at present it's not connected to power so and you can see here this is the main board so, let me, yes. so you can see here my main board is and you can see all the cables is going through this an extruder connected to different type of motors the cables are coming from a different directions so like this okay so this is how i you know connected everything so together so, and end stop switches okay you can like this so i added sleeves here for the cables so it will be like tidy okay then yeah. and you can see I have connected this to this place see everything now overall the 3d printer is ready so let's uh, power up and we'll see how it is printing okay So uh, I will switch on the 3D printer and let's see, uh, first we'll do the homing, after that we'll do print. Okay, so let me switch on this. So I switched on the 3D printer and you can see both are on. So, uh, let me go a little closer and see the homing. Uh, is it working or not properly? So this time going a little closer. So yeah, fine. <laughs> so now I will do the homing thing. Let's see whether. So I'm using touch screen, so <laughs> I feel it is like portable. So let me go a little close. You can see here. So this is the printer. So I will click in here. So this is homing. So I can do all together by clicking on this button or else uh, I can do homing one by one, one after one. So first I will do homing for X. So X homing is fine. Then let's see Y. Y homing also fine. Now let's see the Z homing.
so z homing also done so now we will see the movement of axis you can move it 10 mm okay. i will get the So it's a big printer so I can't show entire printer in a frame so I have limited space that is another problem so I'm just getting here so yeah now so let's check X also it's fine X also it's fine so uh, now what I will do is so I will prepare the bed for printing so for that first I need to heat up this one so for that I am going here in heat so I am just giving a target like 90, 20, 20. I am using PLA so I used to print my VLA prints at 210 so this is heating up so I will wait for some time once it is heating up so you can see here at present it is 62 degrees it's like that so once it is heat up we can give a print meantime what I will do is uh, like I will prepare this bed like I'm I'm not using any you know uh, thing. so I'm just using only glue stick so I, I already applied a little bit here just I need to make it little wet so that uh, the print will stick to the glass bed so what I will do is I will make this place a little uh, wet so just I am using this sponge to make this little wet ok so after that uh, I am using glue stick this is a glue stick so that the print will stick So now let's see whether temperature is reached uh, 210 or not. So we can see here it's reached, or as you can see on the, this big screen, show it 210, it's reached. So I'll go a little closer. So I'll give it for print. So I have this. So let me zoom in and okay. So uh, this is a 2020 cube I have designed. And so I have sliced. So this is G code file. So I will click on this. First, you can see this temperature is 210. It's fine. Without also no problem. And just so I will click on this. Say confirm. Okay, so now I'll zoom out. See, you can see that material also it is there in extruder. So. So it started printing. So uh, let me show you from little closer. So how it is uh, printing. So let me show you little closely how it is printing.
so overall it is printing fine the first layer you can see it's good So I'll wait for some time once the spray print is over so I'll show you the uh, first print quality how good it is okay you can see here it's 20% completed okay good. So once it is completed printing I'll show you the output. I mean, print, 3D print. So 3D print is completed. So let's see how good this is quality. So so uh, yeah, it's not that bad. Maybe you can see some lines. Yeah, without any tweaking on all this point. Yeah, overall it's good. Maybe few <coughs> tuning, few areas. I think I need to do tuning. So, uh, it's pretty good. Good. So maybe I have to do some PAD tuning for the temperature change. So you can see here. Okay. Quality is good. So maybe if you see close, maybe you can see these lines, but from far, uh, it won't be visible. Okay. So, and this I have printed in uh, 0 0.2. Okay. So 0 0.2 resolution, mm resolution. So, so that's why it lines up. So overall, this quality of the print is good. Yeah, that's it. So finally, our printer is ready and it's printing good. Few tweaks I will do. For the temperature and all like pid tuning okay maybe i have to adjust the belt tensions and all so that this so so like that so now our printer is ready for printing uh, i have to do a few tweaks and if you see this uh, it's not printing exactly in the center it's printing here you can see here it's supposed to print somewhere here so so uh, i will make another video for uh, bed century so how to do that hmm? we'll see in the later videos but now uh, this 3d printer is ready and it's printing so <coughs> so that is what like finally we have completed the 3d printer build and now it's working and it's printing good okay so okay so thank you guys thank you for watching uh, please like this uh, video and please subscribe my channel thank you thank you very much